Hi, this is Behfor, your host, and in this video, I want to configure my ASUS wireless router so it can automatically test the ping and jitter of my internet connection, which happen to be Verizon 5G home internet. So I guess if you have either of those, or maybe just interested to know how and why we should do that, then this video is for you. Because first of all, regardless of what my ISP is, it is always good to know the situation of the ping and jitter of the network and internet connection, right? I mean that information can be really valuable if I want to troubleshoot certain network services. Uh, gamers for example know what I mean. Because if the ping, latency and jitter are high then they can cause delays, lags and inconsistency which can ultimately affect the game's outcome. So in this video, we're going to see how I can have my ASUS wireless router do all of that automatically and for as long as I want and show me the results in the form of some useful charts. Also, if you follow the channel, then you probably know that a couple of months ago, I canceled my cable internet and switched to the Verizon 5G home internet. And I talked about it and put it to the test in that video. But one thing I did not include there was actually testing the ping, latency, and jitter. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. But first, let's quickly see what ping and jitter is. Ping is actually the signal that we send out to measure the latency between two network devices. So ping rates show how fast this device can get a response after it sends out the packet to the destination. And this is measured in milliseconds. Now this was just measuring the latency of my local network, but if I ping 8.8.8 .8 for example, which is Google DNS, then I'll be checking the latency between this device all the way to that server and wherever in the world it is. In other words, this should be a good indication of the overall quality of my internet connection. This latency is important in the network services and applications that timing is very important, such as online gaming, voice over IP and video calls. For example, in online gaming, usually ping rates between 20 and 50 milliseconds is considered good. Obviously lower than that is great and higher than that is not because that's when I'll be experiencing lag and delays, which is most noticeable in first person shooter games. Jitter on the other hand is the fluctuation or variation of latency over time. It is also called PDV or packet delay variation. For example, if every packet takes the same amount of time to travel to the destination and back, then there is no jitter. But if the times are inconsistent, then we're gonna have jitter. So if it is too high, then I'll have unpredictable response time, for example, every time I hit a target in a first person shooter game, which is not good, and it is recommended to make sure it is below 30 milliseconds for gaming. Now let's see how we can configure ASUS wireless routers to run a ping and jitter test automatically. The ASUS wireless routers do not have this feature by default, at least not right now. So I will need to install the ASUS WRT Merlin and then Entware, which is a software repository. And I've already done. If you have watched my previous video, then you know how easily I can install the Entware. If you haven't, then feel free to watch that video first. Okay, right now I have SSH to the router and I'm gonna go to the AMTM and then enter J1 which should install this internet connection monitor. This is actually a script written by Jack Yaz and provided free for the ASUS WRT Merlin. So kudos to Jack for creating this very useful tool. The good news is after it is successfully installed, I can use it through the web interface. I can still use the CLI if I want, but the web interface seems to be much more user friendly, so let's do that. So when I log into the web UI, I can see that there is a new tab called add-ons, and the connection monitor should be there. The utilities and configuration tab is where I can configure the ping test according to my requirements. For example, by default it will ping 8.8.8.8, .8 but if I want I can change it to a different IP address or even a domain name. Here I can specify how long the ping test should last. The default value is 60 seconds, but I can change it if I want to. 
or the number of days that I wanted to keep the test data. The default is one month, but I can increase it up to one year. I'll make sure the automatic ping test is enabled. And based on this default settings, it should automatically test every three minutes. I'm gonna leave it as is for now and let it run for a while and then come back to see the results. Meanwhile, I would appreciate it if you could hit that like button if you're enjoying the video and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you won't miss the upcoming videos. Alright, it's been almost 24 hours that the test has been running. Now let's go to the charts and first take a look at the pings. As you can see, it looks like the latency has been below 50 milliseconds most of the time. In fact, except very recently, it has always been below 50 milliseconds. Now, the reason why it recently spiked was because I intentionally ran an internet speed test at that time. During the test, the whole bandwidth is going to be used, and as a result, it can have negative effect on other networking services and applications. One way that I can reduce this negative effect, especially on time-sensitive services such as gaming, is by using proper quality of service rules. For example, if I prioritize gaming traffic over other kind of traffic, the router will make sure that it will always get the highest priority when it comes to using the network. The jitter chart is also showing me that except very recently that I ran a speed test, it's been below 30 milliseconds pretty much all the time, which is good. Alright, so based on the results, I can say that the quality of my Verizon 5G home internet here is good. But it's not necessarily great. I mean, I've had internet connections before with better results. But they were all through cable. And this is wireless. I mean, through 5G network. And still good. I just should make sure to use quality of service properly in my network. So in case it gets very busy, it doesn't have that much of negative effect on the traffic that is sensitive to high latency and jitter. But this was my experience with the Verizon 5G home internet here where I am and so far. Obviously, other locations might see different results so I'm actually curious to know how is the quality of your internet connection wherever in the world you are and whatever internet service provider you're using hopefully yours is even better than mine let's talk about it in the comments below thank you very much for watching this video I hope you liked it give it a thumbs up if you did share it if you think others might like it too and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this thank you again and I will see you next time